Hello YouTube, this is Linda. Welcome to my ASMR channel. Today I'm going to give you a very basic tutorial on how to knit. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to know how to knit something very simple, like a scarf. So, shall we begin? Here are the things you'll need. Some yarn and a pair of knitting needles. The yarn that I'm using is a really soft merino wool that's been hand dyed in all these nice variegated colors that make a really nice pattern when they're knit up. You can use any kind of yarn that you want, but I like to use real wool because it makes my hands feel better and there's just a little bit of lanolin in the wool that it doesn't dry out my hands too much and it doesn't, it's not too rough on my skin. There's two different kinds of knitting needles here. Aluminum and bamboo. These are the kinds I use, but knitting needles come in all kinds of materials like wood, stainless steel, plastic, casein. For aluminum and bamboo, there's some advantages to using these different kinds and I'll explain to you what they are later. Each knitting needle has this number on it, and this number is the gauge or the thickness of the needle. This needle is a, in the US, it's called a number 10, which means that it's, well, it's going to be this thick. <laughs> These bamboo needles are also a size 10, but they're in a different style. They have a needle portion and then a plastic portion here so that when you knit, a lot of the work that you're doing can rest on this plastic portion. Like if you're knitting something really heavy, you don't want to have all that weight of the yarn hanging off of a straight thread. So. If you get something like this, the work that you're doing can just kind of drape or, or sit in your lap because really most of the work that you do with knitting needles, you really only do the work up in this front portion here and the rest of the needle is just used to hold your stitches and I'll show you how to do that. They make different sounds. To begin knitting, <clears throat> sorry. The first thing you want to do is get the yarn onto your needle and you do this with a process called casting on. There are several different ways to do this but I'm going to show you the way I prefer because for me it's the easiest and the fastest for me. first thing you want to do is pull a length of yarn from your yarn ball. So we'll find the end here. Let's see. Oh, where is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Get the 
closer. <laughs> so we're gonna get somewhere. And we're going to pull out, mm, let's say about this much, okay? And what you want to do is you want to make a loop like this, and you want to make sure that this thread that's closest to you, this is the tail of the yarn. And this side that's closest to your fingers, this is the yarn that's still attached to the ball. This will be your feeder yarn. Okay? Now, by trial and error, you will eventually figure out how much yarn you'll need to do your project. But we're just gonna, we're just gonna use this much. You want to double your strand of yarn, just like I did here. And you want to leave about, like, this much of this loop out, like this. Okay. You want to take these three fingers, and you want to kind of just gently use them to hold the yarn not too tight. You just want to hold them enough to put tension on the yarn. In this loop right here, we're going to put our thumb and our forefinger through it from back to front like this. Okay. Now, this part may seem tricky at first, so I'll do it several times for you slowly. You want to insert the point of your needle into this loop like this. See? Like that. Okay? You want to pull this loop out like this. Okay? And now, with the point of this needle, you're going to pass the point of the needle underneath this bit of yarn that's that's wrapped around your thumb, like that. Okay? Now, with the point of the needle, you are now going to turn your hands like this. Okay? Like that. And then, with the yarn that's wrapped around your index finger, you're going to wrap that around the point of the needle. Now, you draw point of the needle back through the loop on your thumb, and you pull your thumb out of the loop, and then you use these two fingers to kind of cinch up the yarn on the right hand needle, but not too tight. You just want to cinch it up gently just enough to make it a little bit snug on the needle, but you still want it to be able to to move back and forth, like that. Okay? Now, I'm going to do it again. Point of the needle, under there, right there, back through, thumb out, cinch up, like that. Don't get these these two threads crossed. You want to keep them in the same position they were in. This is the tail. This is the feeder yarn. Okay? And again. Through. Around. Back through. Cinch up. Do it several more times for you. OK. 
Okay. So, so far we have about two, four, six, seven stitches cast on to our right needle so far. Now, here's what this looks like in real time. We now have, we should have 20 stitches cast on to our needle. Let's make sure. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. 14, 16, 18, 20. Okay, good. So now we are ready to begin knitting. You want to put the needle with the cast on stitches in your left hand, like that. So you've got the tail here, the rest of the yarn right there. And you want to pick up your other needle in your right hand. This leader yarn here, I'm gonna keep it toward the back like that, okay? And with your left hand, you're gonna hold on to this needle. And what I do is I like to wrap my fingers around the yarn right here just to put tension on it, okay? And I like to put my finger right like that so I can control the tension on this yarn. Okay. You want to insert the point of the right needle into the first stitch on the left needle. And you want to do that from front to back. Like that. Front so that now the right needle is behind the left needle, okay? Now the yarn that's on your left hand, you want to wrap around the point of the needle, and you want to bring that yarn through this loop, and you want to let that loop fall off the left needle, okay? And now this new stitch is on your right needle, okay? And this stitch is called the knit stitch. I'll do it again. Front to back, wrap around, pull through. That's a knit stitch. It's one of the two basic stitches that you need to know. Now, this is how I knit, because this is, oh, I made this a little too tight, because for me, this way is a little bit faster and easier. seen other people sometimes you'll see them hold this leader thread in their right hand and then you see them do that and then take the yarn and throw it over and then bring it back through 
that's that's fine too it's the same stitch but for me even though that's the traditional way to knit for me it's it's too much work you know it's it's an extra step I don't want to do so I do it where I just keep this yarn over my left finger seeing now the stitches are disappearing from the left needle and they're being the new stitches are being transferred to the right needle and you want to do that till you get to the very end almost there and then we got our last stitch we're going to knit that, pull that through, and now we have no more stitches on the left needle. All of our stitches are on the right needle. Just flip it around like that. Okay. Again, holding that yarn like that. We're going to knit some more. I'm using aluminum needles and the benefit of using aluminum needles is that the yarn can slip right off from one needle to the other because the surface of these needles is very slick. That means that if you want to, you can knit with some real speed especially if you're using yarn that has some texture to it, like this wool. This wool has a lot of texture to it. So far, I've shown you the knit stitch, which is one of the two basic stitches you need to know. If you knit every row like I've done here, your work is going to look like this, with the same texture on the front and the back. Well, there really is no front and the back because they're both the same. And this pattern where you knit every row on both sides is called the garter stitch pattern or the garter pattern. So now let's learn the other stitch you need to know. And let's make let's make this side the back and this side the front. So we'll work on the back. Now, this time, mm -hmm, set up here. This time, instead of inserting our needle from front to back like this, okay, we are going to slip the point of our needle from back to front, like this, just like that, okay. And then we're going to take our yarn, 
and we're going to wrap our yarn around the needle like so slide it through and then you slide that right off the left needle like that and there we have our first stitch our first new stitch onto this right needle now we have made what's called a purl stitch let's purl a few more From back to front, wrap around, pull through, slip off, purl stitch. And we're going to purl all the way to the end of our row. So far, you have learned the two basic stitches you need to know. The purl stitch and the knit stitch. And these two stitches are the basis for any other stitch or pattern that you do when knitting. have a knot forming there. <laughs> okay, now we're going to turn our piece over. Okay. And now we're back on the front side of our piece. Okay. So since this is the front side, we're going to knit every stitch. So we put our yarn in the back like that, and we knit. Okay, that's all the knit stitches front of our work, we flip it back over, and now we do the purl stitch. By knitting the front and purling the back of our work, we end up with a piece that has a smooth side and a bumpy side. Okay. Now that we've reached the end of our work, we need to finish off by casting off our stitches. Since we are currently on the front side of our work, we are going to cast off with knit stitches. If we were on the back side of our work, we would cast off with purl stitches. And I'll show you how to do that. To cast off, we are going to knit first stitch like so then knit a second stitch like so and with the point 
of our left needle, we are going to skip over this first stitch here and slip it into this stitch here. Okay. Then we're going to pass that stitch over, over the first stitch like that and slip it off the needle. Let me do the same thing again. Knit, slip that stitch right over and off. Knit, and, oops, and slip. We'll cast off to the end. See how this is starting to work. Okay. Here we go. Almost to the end. We've cast off almost all the stitches off of our left needle, except for one. Okay. So we're going to cast off the final stitch. Okay. Now, all the stitches have been cast off, but you have that one stitch left. So what I do is draw that out like that. I simply take some more yarn and I pull it through. Then I pull it tight. Like this. Like that. There you go. Boom. Knitting. Now go make something.